there's a wide variety of psychophysiological consequences and symptoms of people who are under chronic stress. In other words, they're not able to manage the stress in their lives and they're, uh, they're paying a price for all of that stress and they're not able to cope with it. And one of the most important components is really mood impairment and mood disorders. And this includes anxiety and depression are the two big ones, but it can also lead to cognitive impairment like concentration problems. And then these symptoms can manifest in a variety of different ways in different individuals. So a lot of people will actually manifest in musculoskeletal pain and, and tension, back aches, neck aches, that kind of thing. Um, uh, cardiorespiratory symptoms like shortness of breath or, or palpitations of the heart. Uh, gastrointestinal symptoms, a lot of people will have indigestion or digestive problems. Uh, insomnia is very common, um, as well as even skin problems uh, can manifest with people who are under chronic stress. Um, finally, there's also dysfunctional behaviors that can manifest in chronic stress. People can have appetite changes or uh, start engaging in substance abuse, drinking alcohol or smoking cigarettes to try and cope with their stress. Um, and they can also withdraw from society, and, and that can be a negative uh, outcome as well. So one of the things that's important to know about stress, another factor that many people don't realize, it's really in the eye of the beholder. It's very inter-individual. Uh, and not only that, but it can change over time. One person's stressor, in a, is an, a negative stressor, is another person's positive stressor. And it really varies from individual to individual. And of course, it also varies over time. So what you might think is a stressor when you're 20 years old, you might not think is a stressor when you're 50 years old and vice versa. So this whole perception of what is a stress is a key player in the stress response. Now, just like stress is malleable, so is stress tolerance and resilience. In other words, you can change your stress tolerance and resilience. And I think one of the key ways to be able to do that is yoga my teacher, Yogi Bhajan, he said, yoga teaches you the techniques and awareness to stay healthy. You gain strong immune, glandular, and nervous systems. This foundation gives you energy and lets you deal with the mental and spiritual facets of your life. And this is actually a fairly modern definition of yoga. It's one that the general public generally uses, and the whole idea is that uh, they're coming to yoga practice in droves because it gives them functionality. It allows them to cope with life effectively.